Hello folks, welcome to my YouTube channel. We're back in here. We're gonna uh, paint some rocks, folks. And of course, you know, when you paint rocks, you gotta let them dry too. Hi folks. I know we was in here on that other video. So, we got this little rock here, folks, that we haven't finished. So I'm gonna paint that one. And I think what I'm gonna do with my rocks, folks, is I'm gonna take them out there uh, and set them next to my chicken pen out front. I've decided to do that because I'm getting a lot of them built up. And I don't really wanna get a whole bunch of them in the house. Because my husband keeps asking me what am I going to do with all of them too as well. Um, you just decorate them up, folks, and you put them outside. I mean, unless you're going to put them in your terrarium, that is. If you've got a plant terrarium that you're putting them in, that would be good, folks. But I had this one and I was wanting to finish painting it. It must have been one we were doing on one of our other videos and I didn't get done with it. I didn't know this folks, but I seen on the news where it said something about we might be getting storms here in a little while. I'm hoping it don't do that before I get to the goose pool. See, I got this rock painted, folks. See how pretty it is? And I'm not for sure, but I think it's one of them that sets up like that. And you can um, put whatever kind of picture on it that you like. And I'm gonna have to once again, get up and fix my water for my uh, paintbrush. I'll be right back. You have to let your uh, water get kind of warm, folks, because that's the only thing that'll take the paint out of your uh, brush, the paint glue, because if you got glitter glue, of course, that's what gets it out of your paint brush. But yeah, if it's going to storm, folks, I don't know when it's supposed to start. I was thinking about listening to the news and finding out. Because if it does that, then we won't be able to get out and do the goose pen. I mean, the goose pull around.
Well, I know one thing, that sure makes them rocks pop when you put that glitter glue in them, but. And you can put anything you want to on it, folks. It ain't gotta be aquarium decorations. It's still gonna look like, it's still gonna look good in your terrarium. But if you wanna add a little bit of personality to it, you can put your different designs on your rock. You can do multi colors on your paint. It ain't all got to be one specific color. You know, it's just working on different designs, folks. If you do it all the same, then ain't gonna have no personality to it. Got that paint on my brush. Now we're gonna work on this little rock here. I think that little rock's cute, folks. And the little smooth rocks, they're real easy to work with. That's really what you need, folks, even if you got bigger rocks. You need a, um, you need a, a smooth rock and, um, The smoother the rock, the better, because if you have to, you can take and uh, draw a picture on your rock, too, after it dries. Or you can put decals on it. Decals go good uh, with these flat, smooth rocks, too, folks. You can do it on slight rocks, too. If you live near a creek somewhere and you find slight rocks somewhere, folks, just be careful about snakes. Don't go out looking for rocks and get bit by a snake, folks. Because you know snakes do like rocks. And see, I got this one painted blue. Remember, painted all the way around the face. Now we got green, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix them together. And paint a multi-colored block. So if you notice, folks, I'm using up all my paint. That way you don't waste your paint, folks and you get a pretty scenery out of it at the same time. I'll show it to you when I get done here if you can't see it. And see folks, I painted a few rocks there and I had plenty of paint. It didn't look like much on my plate, but if there was more there than you thought. Let's get every little smidgen that you can out of it. And do it just like that.
and say that, folks. See how pretty that looks. I think I'm gonna put mine out by the goose hen, folks. I mean the chicken hen out front because they have a like a railroad tie out there by their hand. I'm just going to set it on that. Every time I do this, folks, it makes me think of my sister because her and her grandchildren do this, too. They all spend family time together and paint rocks. And that's something good you can do with your children, folks. If you want to spend good family time and just have a good time and, you know, uh, unwind and just spend quality time with your children and not uh, worry about outside problems. The children would really love this, folks. Just get you some rocks and get paint and go to town. There you go. And also, folks, you're not thinking about something else. I know nowadays that uh, they say that children stay on social media too much. But that would be one way that you could distract the kids from being on the computer all the time, folks. That would be a very good way. Well, thank you for joining my YouTube channel, folks. You guys are awesome, and you got this. We'll get back in here in a little bit, folks. Bye-bye.